um, just so many, so many uh, emotions, but um, I'm, I'm proud. I'm proud to be in this city. I'm proud to be a part of this moment um, because it, it is, I think this is going to be read about in, in textbooks uh, all across the nation and hopefully across the world for the rest of our, our human uh, existence as long as we have history books. <laughs> and, and, and I know you were just kind of touching on it with Roberto there, but this is just the, the first of many things that need to be addressed. Can you speak to, I, I guess, what else you want to see beyond statues getting removed? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there are things that we've been working on for decades. Um, it, these are not new uh, policy changes or things that we're advocating for by any means, but we have to look at unredlining our city. Um, we have to look at creating wealth through home ownership and affordable housing. Uh, we have to look at our public education system and, and equity across school zones and grade levels. Um, we have to look at our criminal justice system, which is really at the crux of, of um, I think, uh, probably the most racial, uh, racist institution that we have is our criminal justice system. Um, and we have to look at how we uh, sentence and um, how we police our black and brown community uh, members. And, and we've got a lot of work to do. So um, I am uh, encouraged, excited. The sense of urgency around all of those policy measures is, is um, has never been so fervent in my lifetime. And um, I'm ready to get to work. <laughs> Thank you, Council Member. Appreciate it. Yeah.